Aloha, Samantha Fox Olson here of iloveyogaandfitness.com. I want to show you something you can practice um, if you are learning a handstand in the middle of the room, but you're scared shitless that you're going to kick up to the handstand, fall all the way over into a back bend, or simply just fall flat onto your back. So I know this is a very, very common fear that keeps people from going for this awesome desire that they have to rock a handstand in the middle of the room by themselves. So let's go ahead and face that fear by examining some other escape routes that you can take besides just falling over into a back bend or falling flat onto your back. So this is one thing I would like you to practice. Um, I am filming this because this Sunday um, at 8 a.m. here on the North Shore of Kauai in my yurt, I'm going to be teaching a all levels handstand play shop. So if you're here in Kauai, come check that out. Do make sure you pre-register. But um, I know many of you that follow me here on Facebook and beyond do not live on Kauai, so I wanted to give you something to play with right now to help you with this beer so you can break on through to the other side because handstands are very empowering and they're so much fun. So let me see what I can do with my camera here to kind of set myself up so that you can see me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a handstand at the wall with my belly facing the wall. And then I'm going to push off of the wall. Oh my gosh, my dog really wants me to throw that frisbee. <laughs> um, let me see if I can get this film first. So I'm going to push off the wall as if, I'm over, as if I've overkicked a handstand and cartwheel out of it. Okay, so I'll demonstrate it. I'll demonstrate it twice. The first time I'm going to do it like kind of cautiously, so I'm not going to overkick too far. And that's where you'll begin. And then once you're confident with that, and once you feel that you are keeping your eyes on the floor the whole time, then you can go ahead and start to really over-exaggerate it and kick as if you just, you know, went balls out in the middle of the room and just way over, overtook it. Um, okay, so here we go. Check it out. I'm going to demonstrate these for you. Now, I like to go that way. You might find that you like to um, cartwheel out a, a, another way. So find the way that you like. Come into that handstand. I'm looking to the floor and just going to cartwheel out. Okay, so again, you can start that out very cautiously like I did. On this one, I'm going to show you um, how, you know, if you were to really over-exaggerate it and kick hard. Let me move that so that you can see that. And this is what that would look like. Okay, so there is an alternative escape route to falling over on your back when you're practicing a handstand in the middle of the room, and this will help you cultivate that. Leave me a comment if you have any other questions. Um, comment below. I love hearing what your goals are. I love um, creating little videos to help you achieve those goals. Come on over to iloveyogaandfitness.com and register for my free week training there, my free a one week online challenge where I'll bring you through all kind of stuff. All right, my dog's being very patient with me. So I'm gonna go throw him the frisbee. Look at him. <laughs> Have an awesome day, aloha.